going home heartbroken. In the best game of the bunch, oh, really. A dramatic game. And, and the game just finished about 30 minutes ago, not even that, maybe 20. Two time defending state champions, New London, and it went down to the wire. First year coach Andrea Fleece in the D2 state semifinals. We showed you earlier, this is how it ended. Under a minute to go, Bulldogs up one. Brenna Heisey drives layup. All right, the lead is three. Eisenhower, though, they cut it to two. Under 10 seconds, Aaron Gansky, the bucket and the foul. Free throw gives them the lead. One second on the shot clock. Last chance they get the shot up. It's no good. New London, their 68 game win streak is snapped. They fall 48 to 47. So here's a look at state championship Saturday. The teams we have playing Division 4, Algoma will take on Colfax. That game about a 1 o'clock start. Depends on when the early games go. Same for the 3 o'clock start. Kiwani and East Troy in Division 3. Then that Eisenhower team from New Berlin, they will take on Notre Dame in the Division 2 state championship bar jude wilbers and prep expert doug ritchie joining us now live at the resch center guys hopefully you caught your breath from that new <laughs> london game but a different defending state champion kiwani suffocating defense leading them back to the state finals yeah thanks a lot justin it almost seems like it was days ago now that kiwani won they <laughs> Held Lodi without a field goal the first seven minutes of the contest. Of course, this should be no surprise from a Storm team. That, that's kind of the hallmark that they're deep. That's what Kiwani does. They've done it all year. They've held teams to under 20 points in games this year. So what they did today on defense, nothing new for anybody. And today, Lynn Geyer talked about her defense. We wanted to put a lot of pressure on their offense to take away their outside shots and things like that. And that's our game, so that's what we came with. Kiwani allowed just 27 points while forcing more Lodi turnovers, 18, than field goals allowed, 12. I do feel like we try to get in their heads, like hands up in their faces so they can't see a pass. I think that's the one thing they were trying to get us to do all week in practice. We make sure our girls off the ball are really getting after it. We try not to let the ball quarterback and that our backside has to get up and, and get the steals for us. So, we just like playing pressure defense. While the Storm's defense thundered, the offense relied almost entirely on the triumvirate of Alex Richard, Jill Kleiman, and Kelsey Stengel. They scored 39 of Kiwani's 40 points. When you're playing offense, you know what you have to feel comfortably, comfortable, you have to feel relaxed, you have to be ready to play at all times, and you have to be able to execute what they're giving you. We were comfortable, but I mean, we never let up. So they know what it takes to get it done. They, they kind of know each other like a book, you know, they know where each other will be, when we'll be there. That experience will serve the Storm well on Saturday as they make their third consecutive appearance in the title game. They're well prepared for the pressure. No, you have to be able to take it all in, <coughs> let it settle, and still play your regular game. You're still here to play basketball, play as a team, and hopefully take home the gold ball. Now, Doug, Kiwani, of course, going for the repeat tomorrow while Algoma and Notre Dame looking for the first title, at least with these groups of girls. Absolutely, and uh, you know, Notre Dame was awesome today. Ali O'Claire and company just ran Milton out of the building. Unfortunately, they don't get New London. 68 game winning streak snapped and a great game. Could be a really good day tomorrow. Maybe three gold balls, it'd be really nice to see. That's hard to beat with three <laughs> possibly coming home to the Green Bay area. For now though, for Doug Ritchie, I'm Jude Wilbers. Let's go back to Justin in the studio.